In this video we will learn how to change the game level. We have two levels, first level 1, second level 2, and we want to switch between these levels by clicking this button. Create a script named load level or whatever. Remove these useless voids. Use Unity Engine management like me. With this using a statement, you can switch between levels. Define a new void called load. We want to change level in this way. There are different ways to load a level. One of the best of them is scene manager. So write scene manager dot load scene, then in parentheses in double quotation, write level name that you want to load. I write level 2. Now if this void runs, level 2 loads. Bring up Unity, click on file, then build settings. Then add level 1 and level 2 in this field. Right click on canvas, then create an empty game object called load level. Then drag the script towards it. Now just give the load void to this button. Choose the button, give load level game object to it, then choose load void from load level script. Now press play. If you click on this button, level 2 loads. Now I want when I click this button, level 1 or any other level loads. For this open the script, we can define several voids which it's not good. So we take a shortcut. Write in front of the void in parentheses a string level name. Then put this level name in loads in parentheses. Now if this string was any level, that level loads. Click on the button again, drag load level game object towards it. Then choose load void. Here it wants a string that you should write level name in it. So I write level 2. Do these things for level 2 again. Only in button, in this field, instead of level 2, write level 1. Now after play, if you click on this button, level changes. This level switching is not interesting at all, we should do something about it. For example, switch happens smoothly. Click on load level game object which you made before. Give an image to it. Make the image size the same size of game screen. You can change its color as you want, I make it black. Now we should create two new animations for this object. Fade in and fade out. Fade out is for when user want to enter the level. Fade in is for when user wanted to leave the level. So in animation window, create an animation called fade out. Press the record, set its opacity to 0 at the 25th frame. Now create a new animation called fade in. Set its opacity to 0 at first frame and at last frame set its opacity to highest. I mean 250. Let's go to animator window. Create a new trigger called load. Right click on fade out and drag a transition to fade in. Choose transition and then click this plus button. Automatically load trigger sets to conditions. Now here make all options 0 and uncheck the boxes. Uncheck loop time box for two animation clips you made, I mean fade in and fade out. We are done with animations. Copy animator components and open level 2. Click on load level game object, give an image to it, make its size the same size of the game screen. Give some color to it, I choose black again. After that paste the animator you copied. After play, when I press load level button, level switch not happens. Why? Cause the image we gave to load level object is on the whole screen. Because of this, when I click anywhere, actually I clicked on the load level image. Look, if I disable it, I can click on load button and level change. So at the end of fade out, after pressing record button, uncheck image box. After play fade out animation plays nicely. Now it's time to play fade in animation. Before it I decrease opacity. Of course it doesn't affect the whole work, cause after play animation runs. Open the script, define a new void called load with delay and put load level command in it. Up here define a string called target level. In load void equal target level to level name. Now for playing fade in animation you should enable the trigger that does it. Do it by this code. Now in fade in animation at last frame add an event. Then from animation event choose load with delay void. When you press play first load void runs. Then animation plays and after animation load with delay void runs. Now you can run any animation you want based on your creativity. Let's create another animation. Create a circle image, give it to load level image. Now press record button in fade out animation. At first frame increase opacity or alpha, set its size to native size, then make it bigger. Now in 25th frame drag it to left side. 
Now if you press play, fade out animation would be like this. For fade in animation, do exactly opposite of what you did, so go to fade out. Copy first frame of fade out and paste it at 25th frame of fade in, then copy last frame of fade out and paste it in first frame of fade in. When you press play button and then click the load button, the level change to something much prettier than it was before. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe us.